If you're just starting out as a teacher or as a student at naghahanap ka ng video para matutunan ang Google Classroom gamit ang iyong smartphone or computer, this might be the right video for you. Pero bago ang lahat, let's roll the intro para mukhang pro. Hey what's up guys! Welcome back to another tutorial vlog! Thank you so much for going back to my channel! So for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Classroom as a teacher and as a student using your mobile phone or computer. For teachers, I'm gonna show you how to create a class. And for student, I'm gonna show you how to join a class. So let's go! By the way, ang Google Classroom ay isang free online collaboration tool developed by Google for schools, specifically for teachers and students. This tool is basically used for online learning or distance learning. By helping teachers to create online classroom, invite students to the class, then create and distribute assignments. So ito yung mga features niya. So how to create a class as a teacher and how to join a class as a student in Google Classroom using your smartphone or computer. Let's start with your computer. First, open any browser. For this example, I will be using a Google Chrome. Next, in the upper right corner, you have to sign in to your Google account. Input your email address. and then password. Once signed in, on your address bar, type classroom.google.com. Or from Google search bar, type Google Classroom and then click this one. Next is your smartphone. On your smartphone, you can use the Google Chrome browser to sign in in Google Classroom. Pero mas madali yung mismong Google Classroom app. So go to Play Store. From the search box, sa taas, type Google Classroom. Select this one. Then click Install. Kapag okay na, click open. Ayan na, may Google Classroom na tayo sa smartphone. Click get started. And you will be prompted to choose an account for your classroom. So as a teacher, ito na yung gagamitin kong account for Google Classroom. And for student, ito na yung gagamitin kong account as reference ni teacher. Let's say this one. Then click okay. Ayan na, naset up na natin ang ating Google Classroom sa smartphone. So let's go back to our computer. So as a teacher, you have to first create a class before using Google Classroom. So how to create a class? So in creating a class, just click the plus button on the upper right corner of Google Classroom. Then choose create class. Just read the notice or terms and check this one and then click continue. Next is you have to input your class name. For this example, I will be using grade 10 ICT or Information Communication Technology. For section, we'll put Our Lady of, of Lanaval. And for subject, we have uh, basic computer peripherals. Then room, you can leave it blank or we can add room 001. And click create. And then Google Classroom will create a class for you. Next, here we can select a team for your class. Since this is a computer class, I'm gonna be choosing this team. For other subject, 
you can select other teams here we have english and history math and science arts sports and other teams so ayan meron tayong team for our grade 10 ICT section Lanaval class by the way nandito yung iba't ibang tabs sa taas meron tayong stream tab classwork tab people tab and marks tab so for stream ito yung main page ng inyong Google Classroom. Pwede kayong mag-post ng announcements para makita ng inyong students. For example, uh, we will add a post. Welcome to our virtual class room, our lady. Lady of Lanaval. And then, pwede kayo mag-add ng uh, files sa uh, Google Drive, website links, uh, attachments from your local computer, or YouTube videos para mapanood ng studyante ninyo. So, if you're done with your post, uh, just click post button. Ayan. So, after adding a post or attachments, uh, automatically makikita na yan ng sudyante ninyo. To control yung posting ng announcement, you can click this gear icon, then scroll down sa general, then go to stream, then select nyo yung desired settings ng stream ninyo. Either student can post and comment, or student can only comment, or only teachers can post or comment. For smartphone, for Google Classroom, halos same lang ang procedure sa pag ng class. Just open Google Classroom app. Mapapansin nyo, automatically mag-sync yung class na ginawa natin kanina. So, let's create another class. Click this plus button. Select create class. Next is you have to input your class name, gaya kanina. Uh, for this example, we will create another class and we will be using um, grade 9 ICT. For section, uh, we will put Our Lady of Protection. And for subject, uh, we have Fundamentals of Adobe Photoshop. Then Room, you can leave it blank, then click Create. Kaiba lang, we cannot set up yung team sa smartphone. And wala din dito yung Marks tab which is visible sa browser. But still, we can post announcements like Welcome to our virtual classroom, grade 9, a lady of protection. Or links and attachments. Ayan, okay na. So yung first announcement nyo ay makikita na ng inyong students. To control yung posting ng announcement, you can click this gear icon. Under General, go to Stream, then select nyo yung desired settings ng stream ninyo, gaya ng minention ko kanina. So let's go back to our computer. So now, tapos na tayo mag-setup ng ating Google Classroom using our computer and smartphone. So, what we're going to do next is to invite our students to join our virtual classroom. So how to invite students to join in our virtual classroom? There are two ways to invite students to join a class in Google Classroom. First is by using a class code that is located dito sa upper part below your class name. All you have to do is click this one and then magdi-display na yung class code nyo. Copy lang natin and send that to your students. So pwedeng through email, via Facebook Messenger, or any social media platform. Another way to invite students to join this class is using this people tab. And then click invite students. You can use this feature if alam niyo yung email address ng students ninyo. So for example, you have the list of students um, email address. So pwede mo silang i-add sabay-sabay. So for example, nasa Excel sheet tayo. Then dito nakalist lahat ng email address ng students mo.
Pwede mong i-copy ito lahat. Control C. Then paste it here. And then press Tab key. Para ma-recognize ni Google na multiple emails yung nilagay mo. Then click invite. So let's jump to your smartphone. To invite students in your class, halos same lang din yung procedure. But the class code is not displayed in Teams. To view the class code, click this gear icon. Under general, press and hold the class code below at magka-prompt ito na copied class code. By then, you may send it to your students via email, Facebook Messenger, or any other social media platform. So, the other way is sa People's Tab. Sa baba, halos same lang din yung pinakita ko kanina. Click Invite Students and input their email address. And that's it! For students naman, I'm gonna show you how to join a class in Google Classroom. Halos same lang yung procedure on how to join a class. Let's say for example, um, using your computer, all you have to do first is sign in to your Google account. And then type classroom.google.com. So to join a class, click this plus button, then select join class. And then input the class code given by your teacher. Then click join. So we are successfully joined in grade 10 ICT class. So for student interface, we only have three tabs. First is the stream where you can see the announcement of your teacher. Then classwork to view your assignments and quizzes. And for people, the name of your teacher. Pwede rin kayong mag-post ng announcement, links, depende sa stream settings ng teacher nyo kung allowed kayo mag-post or mag-comment. So for teachers, if successful ang pag-join ng students nyo sa class ninyo, makikita nyo sila dito sa People tab. Tapos, dito sa Students. And that's it! So for the part 2 of this tutorial, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano gamitin ang Classwork tab para gumawa ng assignment, quizzes, na pwede nyo ibigay sa students nyo. For students naman, Tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gamitin ang Classwork tab to access your assignments and quizzes na binigay ng teacher nyo. So that's it for part 1 of this Google Classroom tutorial. Again, this is Arvin Alejandro, your host in EdTech Tutorials. Thank you so much for being here and see you in the next video.